Hi Scorpio, this is Born What Avail, and this is your reading for November the 8th to November the 15th. So the first card, let's see what you got. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. The Queen of Water. So Scorpio, there's a lot of water around you, and um, Scorpio... You, you could be with someone that has Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in their chart or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so relationships develop to a new level. So you're taking a higher commitment within this relationship. There's going to be a higher commitment within this relationship. It could go up to engagement, marriage, or living together. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition about this relationship because it's good. Care for yourself and others. So lately you've been caring for yourself because I've been telling Scorpio in the last few months, you got to start taking care of your home. you got to start taking care of your lover, your man, your woman, and leave them outsiders alone. You know, sometimes you got to let people go to take care of your own shit in your own house. You could take care of others too, but you can't do what you used to do. You know, you got a man or woman at home, children that you need to take care of and they come first. So the second card, Nine of Earth, enjoying life's little luxuries. So you're enjoying what little time that you have, maybe outside or going shopping for yourself or window shopping, uh, spending quiet time alone. You've been spending more time at home, which is a good thing, uh, Scorpio. I'm glad you're listening to me. I, at least I hope that you are. Successful self-employment. Some of you are going to business for yourself, uh, making things. You're good with making things with your hands. So, so a lot of you are going in self-employment plus working. You could be making baskets, you know, whatever. The night of air. Events that occur with great speed. So there's going to be a lot of um, outings um, the fall and winter. You're going to be going to a lot of parties or you're going to be throwing a lot of dinners and parties. Uh, take time to carefully review your options. Create creative solutions. So you got to take the time carefully to review your options. Like you, you can't attend every party. You can't attend every gathering. So you're going to have to figure out which one of those you that are important that really want, you know, that you really want to go with. Scorpios are always busy planning parties, cooking, doing something, honey. You got the eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So events moving at a fast pace. Everything in your life is going to be moving fast. So you better put your seatbelt on because your life is going to be moving fast. Uh, delays are over. There's no more delays. You've been through that bullshit all summer, all year long. Many things happening at once. There's going to be so many things happening in your life at once, Scorpio. You're not even going to know which way to turn <clears throat> in your personal life. Three of Earth, the power of creativity. So there's nothing that you can't do. You're very creative, Scorpio. Recognition for very high quality work. You're going to get recognized at work for the high quality work that you do. You're always on time and you're trying to do your best. Be a team player. Some of you, Scorpio, have a hard time being a team player. You don't like to listen to the rules. <laughs> you don't like to take advice. You don't like none of that shit. You're like a Taurus. Be a team player. You got to learn how to be a team player. Uh, Libra, for real. You really, really do. Because a lot of you are loners. And then you have the seven of earth. Seeds are well planted. So you've been manifest, manifesting all year long. Uh, praying all year long. Wishing all year long. A temporary pause in action. So some of you, like I said, have taken a break. Which is a good thing. Because you're steady running around. And you need that break. You need that rest and peace at home. Unnecessary worry. Some of you are worrying about shit you shouldn't even be worrying about. Scorpio. The wheel. A time of positive change. A lot of positive things are coming into your life before the year is out. A situation suddenly moves forward. So you guys are going to move on with your um, wedding um, arrangements. Uh, you're moving in together, getting a house together. Uh, fortitude. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't see it. Fortune is on your side. Fortune is always on your side, isn't it, Scorpio? And no matter what you do. 
the ten of ear, the end of a difficult situation. So whatever happened over the summer, early part of this year, or the last couple of years, it's finally over with. You don't have to worry about that dead bullshit anymore. Embrace the change. Embrace the change that's happening. Maybe you were having family problems, relationship problems, and all of that. Embrace the change because it's changed. It's no more. And expect things to get better now. They are going to get better after you've been through the worst. Uh, recovering from an addiction. Some of you are on drugs or you're drinking too much, partying too much. Addiction could be anything. Overeating, it could be anything that you're overcoming. Balance. The need for balance and moderation. So you have to make sure that you're balancing your life, your personal life, with your work life and your party life. Because you want to fall back in that same shit that you fell back to in the summertime, in the last year or so. Cooperation and compromise. You're going to have to cooperate more, Scorpio, and you're going to have to compromise with your mate in life general, even though you don't like to do that. You're going to have to. Wait for perfect timing. You guys are going to have to wait for better timing. You just run off. You know, you get in your car and you just go. No matter, it's not the perfect timing to do that. You have to sit back and manifest and pray about it. When is a good time to do these things? You got the king of water. Open your heart and mind to those around you. You're too closed off right now. You're too closed off. And there's a lot of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces around you. A lot of water. So you got to open up your heart more and your mind, okay? Trustworthy and help, heartfelt advice. So if your mother's trying to tell you something, your father's trying to tell you something, your grandparents, your sibling, listen to it because it's coming from the heart. Charity work. Maybe some of you are helping the homeless. Maybe you're, you know, going to shelters. Uh, maybe you're, you see a homeless person on the corner. You're buying them food or giving them a coat or a sweater anything. They want you to start doing more charity work. Scorpio, the king of earth, a successful time. This is a successful time for you, especially the fall and winter. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. So you're going to start having to accept these offers that are coming your way, or you're never going to accept anything. The Midas touch. Oh, Scorpio has the Midas touch, honey. We know that. The Four of Wands, missing an opportunity. <clears throat> Don't miss an opportunity because your stubbornness of a job or, or something in your relationship or something that a family member wants to do for you or give you. Discontentment or boredom. Some of you are really bored because you stopped doing the things that you were doing. But hey, I'd rather be bored. Wouldn't you rather be bored than have the love of your life with you? Open your eyes for the possibilities. There's many possibilities around you, uh, Scorpio. And you need to look, listen, and watch and receive. The Page of Fire. News of an exciting new... Ad so you got... Some of you got mm, someone new coming into your life. I still see a three-way love affair there. That's That you're going on now or it's going to start. Better listen, better watch. Use your originally, originality, I can't say that word. Sorry, but you see it for yourself. And genity. So you got to use your originality, your mind, because you're very creative. You're outgoing, you're confident, you're mischievous. Oh, we already know Scorpio is mischievous. It's still in the morning here and I'm kind of, ugh. The chariot, I'm at work, so... The important achievement. So what is the important achievement that you've already done or you're getting ready to do? To do? What is the important achievement? Uh, Self-discipline and willpower. A lot of you got to have self-discipline in that cheating and the willpower not to do it. Public recognition. You're going to see public recognition for the good things that you've done. Then you got the world, a job well done, joy, contentment, gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. So just know this, this is your last card. Just know this, that a job well done and on your home life, on your work life and everything that you've been doing, Scorpio. You're very content because you've been doing the right thing and your gratitude is very grateful. Path toward enlightenment, you've taken the right path. You've chose the right path, okay? So that is your reading.
Scorpio for November the 8th to November the 15th. So please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, cross watchers. Thank you, haters. And remember to like, share, and comment. God bless. See you soon.